Hey everybody, Good Gaming here, and you know what it is. We are playing some Bloodborne tonight, and uh, I thought I'd share with you this really phenomenal uh, farming location. So, first thing you're going to need is, uh, you're going to need to have the Ailing Lauren Chalice, and obviously open the Chalice dungeon so you can explore it. Now, this is for a bit more advanced endgame players. Um... As the enemies in the Ailing Lauren Chalice are quite difficult, and this strategy is most likely most useful for someone who's trying to complete uh, some of the end game Chalice dungeons. So, this is the very beginning of the dungeon, just to show you how quickly you can access. This is layer one of the Ailing Lauren Chalice dungeon. It just shows you how quickly you can access this farming location. And uh, really, the only thing you're going to need is a character that's up to level to, you know, even challenge this dungeon. And uh, as many Bold Hunter's marks as you can get, just for your convenience. So, uh, let's go ahead and start this off. You head up here, you head to the right, and you'll find this room full of beasts. And uh, these beasts are really great for farming, uh, based on not only how much experience they yield for each one, Killed, but how unlikely they are to kill you. And anyone who's tried to farm in Bloodborne or any FromSoft game will tell you that dying midway through the farm is really, really annoying and can be really stressful. Now, obviously, my character is very high level, so if your character is a bit lower in level, this might be a bit more difficult for you than I'm exemplifying. But it's really quite simple. Just pull them one at a time, kill them. You'll get around four to 5,000, depending on what type of runes you have equipped for each one you kill. And it, you should be able to level up at a lower level, potentially off just two clearings of the room. And uh, that can be done really quickly. I've leveled up probably 20, 30 times. And, uh, and, and that's that right there. Uh, each clear will yield about 40,000 without moon runes equipped, which, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a rune found in the uh, earlier portion of the game that increases your blood echoes from killing enemies. Um, so you get about 40,000 without moon runes. You can get about 58 to 60,000 based on the runes you have equipped. So clear the room, hit the bold hunter's mark as so, wait through the very brief loading screen, um, and you're going to pop right back up at that last lantern, uh, and you'll be ready to uh, go ahead and do it all over again. And uh, I'd really suggest that you give this spot a try, guys, because it's an absolutely fantastic way to level up. And you're going to need to level up if you want to complete the endgame chalice dungeons, because they are extremely challenging. And as you well know, the new game plus is challenging as well. But that's that. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, you know we love you guys. And please like, comment, share if you have any... Uh, questions or anything you'd like to see in the future, uh, just drop us a line, and uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.